Lucknow Mahanagar Paravayan SEWA English, Lucknow Metropolitan Transport Service is a city-based service of Uttar Pradesh State Road Transport Corporation which operates primarily in the city of Lucknow and outskirts. It covers all the city and is used by daily commuters. History Lucknow Mahanagar Paravayan SEWA or City Bus Service, as it is popularly known as, was established to cater to the increasing needs of Lucknow City. It is a part of Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission. The services started in 2005. Initially, 100 buses were introduced. Response to the city bus was very good as people of all ages welcomed it and became very popular within some days. It was in 2009 when new fleet of low-floor normal and AC buses were introduced. Initially, bus service was started only on the main routes, but afterwards, it was operated in residential areas too. Now it is operated in busy and congested areas also. Topic. Organization Lucknow Mahanagar Paravayan SEWA is headquartered at Lucknow. It has four depots, which are, Gomti Nagar, Sharba, Amausi, Dubaga. All big buses are parked in Gomti Nagar and Sharba. Mini buses are parked in Dubaga and Amausi. The terminals are at Gudumba, Viraj Khand, Alamba, Scooter India, Engineering College, BBD, Pasi Kila, Sharba, Anda Ki Chauki, Budheshwar Chauraha. It has total 650 employees. LMPS is operated by Lucknow City Transport Services Limited, LCTS, as of Helpline UPSRTC has started helpline service one should call at 7080507090 as passengers were unable to lodge their complaints as they get busy after their journey. All types of complaints, suggestions can be given here. It is very useful for the passengers as by this their problems can be solved easily. For this 149 is enquiry number point nine four one five zero four nine six zero six as well. WhatsApp number for direct contact. Topic Fleet It has a fleet of 260 buses. All are CNG. Off them 20 are A, C low floor, 60 are non A, C low floor, 60 are semi low floor, and 120 are mini buses. At present there are around many routes in the city. Topic: Low floor bus service. Lucknow Mahanagar Paravayan SEWA operates a large number of AC and non-AC low floor buses under the title UPSRTC JNNURM low floor bus service. The type of bus can be judged on the basis of their color. The A, C buses are in dark blue, white, while the non A, C buses are in purple, white. All low floor buses in Lucknow are of Tata Marco Polo. These buses are well designed and equipped with all needed security measures, though security measures are rarely followed by commuters. These buses can be used by physically disabled though practically very rare such people use buses. Low floor buses are now getting equipped with GPS and are capable of display the name of next stop. Modern automatic door opening, closing function is there in this buses. Topic. 
Semi-low floor bus service Semi-low floor buses are high in number and are used more often. These buses are equipped with basic security measures and are also equipped with GPS and the name of next stop is both displayed and announced in the bus making it easier for commuters to use. Automatic door facility is not there in this bus, they are always open, thereby allowing foot boarding. These buses take less time as time is not wasted in automatic door opening, closing. Topic. Mini buses Mini buses are smaller in size and primarily operate on smaller routes. These buses are very basic in terms of security and comfort. All 120 mini buses in Lucknow Mahanagar Paravayan SEWA are made by Swaraj Mazda. They are also not equipped with automatic door opening, closing function. These buses move fast in comparison to low floor and semi low floor buses. Topic. Computerization and GPS All the buses are under observation and can be tracked by concern officer. Big screens are placed under the bus stops, in which information of the coming bus is displayed through the timings and countdown time shown on the screen. Camera is placed in each and every bus, so that internal activities of the bus staff, passengers can be known. All the cameras are under observation in central observatory, and the persons seeing that are also seen through the camera by higher authorities. Through GPS bus timings can be known very easily and it is very reliable as it saves the precious time of commuters. Topic: Fares. Topic: Fares of AC buses. Topic: Fares of non-AC buses Topic. Fares of mini and semi-low floor buses Topic bus pass and discount travel Regular commuters can take advantage of concessional pass system. Daily one up and one down trip in a month is available for monthly pass holders. The passes are made for the period of one month, three months, six months and one year. Passes can be made for a certain route and also for the unlimited travel according to the needs of commuter. Citizens falling under this category are permitted to travel free in corporation buses. One. Distinguished citizens members of Parliament Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and one co-passenger members of the Legislative Assembly UP and one co-passenger members of the Legislative Council of UP and one co-passenger distinguished reporters freedom fighters and one co-passenger ex-members of the Legislative Assembly UP and one co-passenger ex-members of the Legislative Council of UP and one co-passenger taxes and surcharges apply to co passengers and reporters. 2. Citizens decorated with bravery award 3. Physically handicapped and blind citizens s for the category of senior citizens and other adults will be valid for AC and non-AC. Buses also Topic City Bus Pass Rules Passes shall be issued from origin to destination declared stoppages only and shall be printed on the pass This pass shall be valid for all city buses of the city for the printed origin and destination. Passes shall be issued on application with required certificates, photos and fees. First time registration fees shall be Rs. 50. Revalidation of passes shall have to be got done within one week of expiry of pass or re-registration shall be required. 
In case of loss, damage, destruction of pass on any grounds whatsoever new pass shall not be issued nor any amount refunded on this account. In case of stoppage of operations on any natural calamity, floods, accident, unrest or strike, etc. no refund shall be made or claim entertained. Pass holders shall have to produce the valid pass on demand by the conductor or checking authorities en route. Pass shall be valid for 30 days from issue date. For pass issue students shall have to apply with a student and age certificate from the school, college, institute. Student passes shall not be issued to students aged 21 years or above, they shall be issued adult passes only. Topic. Gallery Topic. See also Lucknow Upnagaria Paravayan SEWA